guys, it's Katie, and for this week's video, I am a ghost. <laughs> the lighting in here is absolutely terrible, but I am traveling, and sometimes you just have to make the best of what you got. For this week's video, I decided to do something a little different. While I was out at Joann's, I found this amazing material for about, I think it was $10 a yard, but then it was on sale, so it ended up being about $6 a yard. And I just knew that I had to have it. I wanted to make a shirt out of it because I really liked all the detail in it. So for this week's video, I'm going to show you how to take a shirt that you already have and make another shirt out of it. The downside to this tutorial is that this shirt looks so legit that no one asked me if I made it. They were just kind of like, oh, I like your shirt. It looks normal. And I was like, I made it. Can't you tell? And they're like, no. It looks like a normal shirt you buy. If you want to learn how to make this shirt, Stay tuned and let's get on with the video. Started with a loose fitting shirt, one that is easily able to go over my head. Make sure to draw the sides straight and not curved. This shirt has side sleeves, so I folded each sleeve along each sleeve along the hemline of it and then traced the pattern. I then also pulled it down to where the neckline is in the front and traced around it. So I did this for both the front and back to make a front and back pattern and then I cut it out and again make sure these are straight and not curved the curve will make it a little too tight since this does not have a zipper and then I did it halfway to make sure that the pattern was even on both sides and there it is for the sleeve I included this process because this is me going how the heck do you make this sleeve I have no idea how, how does this even work? You lay the sleeve so that it's at a halfway point and then trace around it. This is an example of the tester fabric and I made a sleeve out of cotton which doesn't have a ton of give to see how the sleeve would fit and to make sure that it was wide enough to go over my arm and to also make sure that it did not cut anywhere too tight because tight sleeves make for an awful wearing experience. Grabbing Grabbing my fancy fabric, I laid down my pattern for the front piece, and I cut out both a front and a back piece for this. And then with with the extra material, I started laying out the fabric to see how I could put the sleeve on there, and it was quite a struggle trying to figure out how, how do the sleeves go on, how do you get the full sleeve effect, how does this work. So finally I ended up deciding on making the sleeve halved and just making two parts of the pattern. And then I lined them up to make two that matched each other. And in case you're wondering why my tutorials take so long, I have a helper often who likes to help me put patterns together. And then I pinned the two sides of the sleeve together. Well, I tried to pin them. <laughs> I had to get help from my trusty three-year-old. Who says you can't teach little kids how to sew? Here's her pulling the pins out for me. So I sewed a straight line across this twice. If you have an overlocker, you can overlock the edges or you can zigzag them. Because I didn't have my overlocker, I decided to just sew the seam twice to make sure the fabric didn't fray. Now time to pin the front the front and back piece together. Make sure you're pinning these right sides together so you should be looking at the wrong side of your material. After sewing them together, you're gonna attach the sleeve and this is definitely a trial and error since I put the sleeve on wrong the first time. 
and then made sure once you pin it on make sure that it's on the correct way <laughs> and then sew it down and again I am going to sew the seam twice to really lock it in place to hem the sleeve I folded over the material once and then I'm going to fold it over a second time to lock all of the raw edges under and just a tip, you can take off part of your sewing machine to make it smaller so that you can wrap your entire sleeve under it. It's much easier. <laughs> and now for the hemline, or now for the neckline, I'm using some bias tape that I got at a thrift store. You can always find white, black, any of the common color bias tape at thrift stores. Mine cost about 16 cents for the entire thing, whereas it normally costs about one to three dollars, depending. And you just wrap it all the way around the collar. So how did it go? Like I said, I am traveling, so I took my trusty little sewing machine and my pattern that I had made at home, and I brought this material and was able to make this entire shirt in like an hour, if that, and my friends were kind of like, what is she, oh, oh, she's making a shirt over there, okay, that makes sense. So I would definitely recommend giving this one a try. It was super easy and the results are amazing. And now that I have the pattern, I can make a bunch of shirts so you can essentially clone your clothing. I made a tester out of cotton fabric, which I would recommend making a tester just to make sure everything fits correctly. But just know that the tester probably is not gonna look great. Mine I made out of a cotton material and it looks terrible. Because this one's made out of a lightweight material, the sleeves go down correctly and they look like a normal shirt. The one I made out of cotton looks ridiculous and the sleeves poke straight up and it just doesn't look good. But testers are about fit, so I would definitely recommend trying one anyway just before you invest and cut into your good material. Total cost of this project was about $6 and I love this shirt and now I can make a bunch more. <laughs> There's so many weird sounds happening in this basement, you just don't even know. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please hit subscribe down below. It's free for you. I post a ton of stuff on Instagram and Instagram stories. So if you are not following me over there, I will leave I will leave the link to all my social medias down below. And starting this video, if you want to be my person of the day or comment of the day, I haven't really decided on a cool catchphrase yet, but all you need to do is be subscribed and leave a nice or thoughtful comment in the comments down below and you are eligible and I will pick somebody and I will give you guys a shout out and tell you guys how awesome you are. I hope you guys are having a great week. Remember to spread love and make things. Bye guys!